Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. A few weeks ago, a subscriber dropped me a message. Asking me, can we build an inventory management app with Apshi? Before answering his question, I asked him to share his requirement for the app. He answers me with. First, I want the app to tell me what are my stock on hand now. Second, I want the app to tell me where are my stock now. Third, I want the app to record all the stock movement. And lastly, I want the app able to alert me when the stock level is low. I reply him with yes, app sheet definitely able to handle that. So today I am going to share the functionality of the inventory management app. And in the next videos, I will share the workshop step by step to set up this app. So please stay tuned for the next videos. Let's start now. This is the dashboard of the app. In the left panel, it is a chart that lists all the stock balances. Further detail info will be listed when we hover the mouse pointer on the chart. While the right panel is a floor plan map. In the map, it listed all the registered locations with a map pointer. When we hover the pointer, the location name is listed. All right, let's click on the pie chart in the left panel. It is listed in more detail about the stock. Like image, description, balance quantity, reorder quantity and the stock location. The stock locations counter with zero value means this stock is not stored at any places. All right, let's check out the other stock. We have a similar info here. But the balance quantity and the reorder quantity font color is red, which is caused by I have set a rule. Whenever the balance quantity is lower than or equal to reorder quantity, then the font color will be changed to red color. I will share the configuration with you in the next videos. Lastly, the stock location with value 2 means that this stock is stored at two locations. Let's click this record to check the detail. At the top, it listed all the stock information, such as stock code, description, balance quantity, reorder quantity and image. While the next session listed the stock's location with the corresponding quantity. And the last session listing the stock's movement log. All right, let's back to the dashboard and check out the map panel. Enlarge the panel. As you see, the registered location is marked with a map pointer. Click on the pointer, we can view the info of the pointer, such as the location code, map name, coordination, stock balance and movement log. Let's check out the other pointer. Same as just now. We got location code, map and coordination, and the stock quantity that we kept at this location. And lastly, the stock movement at this location. Let's check one more pointer. All right, let's back to dashboard and check out the master data registration function to fulfill the info listing in the chart and the map. We are required to register the data first. I name them as master data and I group them in the menu. There are three master data required. The stock master, warehouse racking master and warehouse floor plan master. I will go through each master data with you later, one by one. All right, let's start with the warehouse floor plan master first. We register the map in the warehouse floor plan master. Click on the registered data to check its details. In the details view, there are a list of the registered location and the map name. Let's me share with you how to create a new map data. First, click the add button at the bottom right. In the map form, enter the map name and select the map image. Then save. I am not going to create a new one, so I just cancel the form. All right, this is how the warehouse floor plan master works. Next, let's check out the warehouse racking master. We register the racking location here. All the registered location is listed here. Let's create a new location. 
Let's create a new location R3C2 for Rack 3 Column 2. Then select the racking image. Then set the map. Please take note, the map listed here is the one we register in the map master. Then set the coordination. We just need to drag the red pointer to the R3C2 location. Let's set it at the top of the map. Then click the done button. Lastly, save. Let's check out the newly created location and dashboard map panel. Yes, the R3C2 is success registered in the map. Next, let's proceed to the last master data, the stock master. We create the new stock here. And in the stock master list, I have created two groups, the reorder list and stock list. The reorder list grouping, all stock that balance quantity is less than or equal to reorder quantity, and the reorder list is always listed on top. And the other stock is listing in the stock list. Let's check out the stock details. We have stock code, description, balance quantity, reorder quantity and image. Next is the stock quantity at the corresponding location. Lastly, the movement log of the stock. Let's create a new stock. Firstly is the stock code. This is a running unique number that assigned by the system. Starting is the prefix STK, then followed by the running number. Next is the decryption in the stock image. Followed by the opening quantity and reorder quantity, default value is zero. For the opening quantity, we may enter the stock quantity on hand. While the reorder quantity is the quantity that has to be maintained in stock. We utilize this data to group the reorder list and trigger the email event. This is the email that will be sent to the person in charge daily, if there are any reorder stock required. All right, we have compelled the master data. Let's proceed to the stock movement. All the stock in, out is listed here. You may see some of the record is with a green plus icon. This is the stock in record. While some of them is with red minus icon, this is the stock out record. Let's create a new stock movement. Firstly, select the movement type, in or out. Then the location and STHE stock code. This two columns is scannable. You will see a QR icon here in the mobile version. Click on it to turn on the barcode scanner. Or we may just click on the drop down icon. The registered location will list it as a drop down list. Select the location from the list. Same as stock code. Then set the stock movement image. Lastly, enter the stock quantity. And save. This is the record that we just created. The stock code, location and quantity. Let's check out the chart panel and map panel in the dashboard. STK2 balance quantity is updated in the chart. And in the map panel. The data for our 3C2 also is updated. Let's create a stock out record. The stock out record is created. Let's check out the data in dashboard. And yes, both chart and map is updated. In the map panel, we may use the search function to check stock level and location. Let's search by stock code. As you see, the map pointer visibility is according to the stock code. This is useful when we want to check the stock balance and location. We may check the same info in the stock master too. All right, we have covered all the function of the inventory management app. I will share the step-by-step -step workshop in the next video. If you have any idea of improving this inventory management app, 
Kindly leave me a comment. Alright, that's all of the video. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Subscribe my channel so that you will be notified once the workshop video is published. Thank you. Bye.